Hey guys, it's Nina coming with another video. I finally met a goal of saving some money for my son and his account. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really geeked. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. And, you know, as much as I can, I want to make sure that I provide for him and create some stability and to be wise, kids don't ask to be brought into the world, but when they are, it's our responsibility to take care of them financially, physically, emotionally. And I am nowhere near perfect, but I'm definitely trying to do my best with the power that God has given me to be financially stable, to be smart with my money, to do whatever it takes to make sure his needs are met, not just now, but in the future. And I just really hope that this will be something that will be continuous and that I will continue to do this in the future. I'm just kind of trying to breeze through a little bit. <laughs> um, but I'm just so thankful he's going to be five years old in February, which is a month away, which that is something else that I'm planning for. COVID definitely messed up everything where I would have planned for a birthday party otherwise outside of home. But we shall see i know that the bowling alley i believe is still open but um you know with the restrictions the state restrictions it's only so much that you can do <laughs> and even if i do have a party at home of course i want to take precaution make sure everybody you know is covid free regular temperature no symptoms that sort of thing but I still want him to enjoy it because this is major. The fifth birthday is a major birthday. So that is what my mind is on right now. I'm thankful for every paycheck that I've gotten thus far. I've been putting aside a little money here and there, just keeping track of how much I've been saving. And even with the stimulus money, you know, it, it ain't a lot, but <laughs> I thank God for what it is and the fact that it enabled me to be able to reach this goal. I want my kid to enjoy his birthday this year and hopefully the other kids get to enjoy it too. Try to make it as memorable as possible. That is something else that I'm gonna have to fund um, over the next, what, maybe two or three paychecks. Just putting money aside and making sure that I fund snacks and food and cake and games or whatever else it is that comes to my mind in the meantime. <laughs> Just trying to take one hurdle at a time. So at least this one is out the way. So that way I can look back on it and say that I actually did it, I accomplished it. And this is one of the charts that are available from debtfreecharts.com which i really love the website everything is easy to access you also get a copy of it sent to your email so that way you can print another copy if need be but um i'm just so thankful to be in this place and all the wisdom that i learned thus far with managing my money and just being more intentional with saving and how I spend my money. Now, don't get me wrong, some of my other goals may have been postponed just so I can make sure that I reach this one because obviously I could have snowballed this money into paying off some of my debt, but considering with everything going on with the country as a whole, it's good to have a little bit of cushion put aside. And I don't have any intentions of using this for anything as of right now, other than just saving it 
Ooh, kind of messed up that line there. But that's my goal. <laughs> Just to make sure I have some savings for him and to have a starter seed so that way when he gets older, he can have a little bit of money. And of course, mama's not working her whole life just to pay for everything for my kid, but <laughs> at least this much can be out the way. This much can be done. And I want to become more knowledgeable as far as how to save and invest. That's another goal and objective that I hope to accomplish before the end of the year as far as like retirement and becoming more knowledgeable about 401k account. Just basically just being a better, a better woman financially so that way me and my kid will be in a better position. You got a long way to go before he gets 18. And so even then, you know, you still gonna need some support because I know for sure when I hit 18, I still needed financial and physical assistance from my parents. And as I can imagine, it may still be the same with my kid, but of course, I don't want him to feel too much pressure to get out on his own. I definitely want him to be educated about finances and how to manage it and what it takes to stand on his own two feet. So in whatever way I can help him, not enable him to be, you know, codependent, but whatever ways I can help him to become a fully functioning adult, I'm definitely committed to doing so. And helping him be the best young man he could be because at some point he is going to have to be an adult and go off on his own. But I can't teach him anything that I don't know myself. And so I just hope to use this time the best I can to help him and to help myself. And just try to be the best woman I could be for both of us. When I'm good, we're both good. <laughs> and so I'm on my last little letter here. Almost done. I'm glad I stayed in the lines for the most part. <laughs> uh, I'm not a good artiste, but there we have it. It's all done. I saved a thousand dollars before his birthday and I'm just going to keep it saved until I find another means to use it. But um, I'm glad that is the first tracker that I've completed thus far. And I hope you all are having a good evening. I will talk to you later.